Many years ago, we were in Baltimore at the Johns Hopkins Hospital awaiting surgery for one of our daughters. And in a quiet room called the family room, we found ourselves speaking with a 10-year-old boy who was also awaiting for his major surgery. And because of my curiosity, we started talking and I asked him why he was there and he told me about his multiple surgeries. Now I was more than interested because our daughter was about to have a similar operation. Now he said that his name was John and John began talking and he spoke freely and he gave me knowledge and he gave me comfort about his surgery and in turn about our daughter's operation. And he was teaching me. And later when John's mother came to meet me, she wanted to thank me because as she said, this was the first time that her son had talked to anyone about his troubles. You see, in a very short time, John and I, we had created a bond and an element of trust. And later, when he was asked why he was not afraid to speak with me, the 10-year-old boy said, no one else ever listened as much. In our business, we too need to listen more. And it's been said that God gave us two ears and one mouth, and we should use them in that proportion. The important act of listening can help us build relationships, as I learned in that waiting room so long ago. And building relationships means spending meaningful time with our spouse and our children and our families, our friends, and yes, too, our clients. In 1961, Dr. Mortimer Adler, a philosopher, he spoke on the main platform in Montreal. And Dr. Adler, he took the audience on an adventure and along the way he gave MDRT members a proven philosophy which has stood the test of time and today is known as the whole person concept. Now today, I'm told that at this MDRT meeting, we have over 8,716 first-time attendees. Wow, congratulations. Now I'd like to say something to the first-time attendees. To be successful in the insurance business means little unless you achieve success in all aspects of your life, which brings us back to the whole person concept, which MDRT remains committed to almost 60 years after Dr. Adler presented the philosophy. Now it would be breathtaking if all MDRT members, beginning with the first timers, could understand the value and the freedom of balancing your lives in seven critical areas. And these areas are relationships, health, education, career, service, financial, and spirituality. Now let me share a personal expression that I love. I work hard for money. I work harder for the things that money can buy, but I work hardest for the things that money cannot buy. And if I can say that again, I work hard for money, I work harder for the things that money can buy, but I work hardest for the things that money cannot buy, like my family, my health, my education, career, service to my community, finances, and spirituality. In other words, I work hardest to be a whole person. So here's a question. As a successful financial services professional, are you leading the fulfilling and enhanced life that you want? Or do you recognize that there may be areas in your life that you're neglecting or that could be improved upon? At MDRT's website, mdrt.org, there's a balance quiz with questions that'll help you evaluate yourself as a whole person. And I do believe living a well-rounded, balanced lifestyle and becoming a whole person is a foundation for ongoing happiness and measurable success. My friend Marvin Feldman said it well when he said, I want to be remembered 
as a loving, caring husband and father who just happened to be successful in the insurance industry. You see, I'm always creatively working on keeping my life in balance. And it's a process, not an event. Sue and I have been married for 33 years. We have three grown children, and we've been so far been blessed with two angels that we call grandchildren, Lennon and Levi. And I'm a proud 17-year member of the Million Dollar Roundtable. You see, the interconnecting circles of the whole person will continue to keep you engaged. So including all the 8,716 first-timers to this row of past presidents, I hope that your whole person plan is in place and that the sky is no longer the limit. Thank you.